everybody. Um, thank you for having me here today, and giving me an opportunity to talk about core laboratories. Um, my name is Heather Hardy. I am one of the assistant administrators here at Nemours and the laboratory director for the Histochemistry and Tissue Processing Core Laboratory. Today, uh, the topic is we're going to talk about core laboratory facilities, an integral part of biomedical research. So I'm often surprised that some people aren't aware what core labs are. Um, so I wanted to start just with a basic definition. The NIH uh, defines core laboratories or facilities as centralized shared resource resources that provide access to instruments, technologies, services, as well as expert consultation and other services to scientific and clinical investigators. So what does that mean for you as a researcher, clinician, who might be interested in doing uh, research? Well, it means a few things. It means that CORES will provide you with access to instrumentation. Um, it doesn't matter if you're a junior investigator or you're a more seasoned investigator. Um, instrumentation is costly, um, and CORES uh, has instruments that you would have access to. It also provides dedicated personnel, uh, staff that potentially have been doing it for several years, and something that you don't have to worry about getting staff or students to help you with your experiments. It provides access to control laboratory processes. Most labs are, are seasoned, they have uh, SOPs in place, and things that you don't have to reinvent. Uh, Core Labs also increases compliance and safety measures for your experiments. Uh, an, an additional thing that you would have to consider if you're starting research uh, experiment. It also provides faster turnaround times. Again, less things you have to worry about if you can hand it off to experts. We also provide, uh, I'd like to include this, uh, unbiased, comprehensive, and standardized testing. And what this means, I was reading some papers last week, is really some cores, you know, if you're just solely working with them to provide tests for you, you know, they're not going to change results or anything like that. They're going to give it to you as is. So sort of unbiased information. And in some instances, they'll offer training. Uh, various cores will offer that for certain instrumentation. So there's different type of core facility modules. I focused on two today. One is a core facility user only service module, and another is a user service module. The core facility user module user-only module is exactly what it sort of states here. Um, it, it gives you technology and experts and equipment, um, and they will give the results to you. Core facility user modules do not allow um, external people to use their instrumentation. Um, you have to rely on the experts that are there and the equipment, and they'll provide you with the results. Another module is a user service module, which provides equipment and training to researchers. So researchers would come in and get trained on certain types of equipment, um, and then they would gather the results themselves. Uh, generally, this user service module are for less sophisticated equipment and or if the team feels you have the expertise enough to work on some of their sophisticated equipment. What does that mean for research institutions as far as cores? Um, well, for research institutions or, or universities or otherwise, it's really about efficiencies and cost savings, right? So there's space efficiencies when you're able to consolidate instrumentation into certain expertise and, and, and laboratories. It increases recruitment uh, because it always looks great if you have certain um, uh, labs already established. It increases collaboration because a lot of cores use external folks um, that they're working with, and then it could potentially help with publications. And it allows for fees um, in equipment purchases. So instead of buying, you know, class stats for everyone, uh, it, it would be consolidated into a few core laboratories. I, I wanted to highlight some of the core labs that are out there. Here at Nemours, we have nine core laboratories. Uh, 
the ones that you'll see with the asterisk, it's great to have Donna today, are INBRI affiliates. Those laboratories serve internal and external groups. INBRI, our INBRI partners are the University of Delaware. These are uh, all INBRI affiliates here. There are nine cores, and they have services that range from, as you can see, bioimaging, to DNA sequencing, to mass spec cores, if you're looking for that. We also have core laboratories um, at Christiana Care and Dell State University. The funding opportunities are several. Uh, one I would be remiss if I did not mention is the Core Center Access Awards. Uh, they're available for small pilot studies uh, if you're looking to obtain preliminary data for grant applications, test proof of concept, and if you're just looking to provide additional data for publications. Uh, if you're interested in that, you can feel free to contact me, Heather Hardy. I'd be more than happy to assist you with that. And with that, I'm going to conclude and say thank you for having me today, and I'll be more than happy to answer any questions.